Hello students, I am a physics teacher Manish and today I am going to discuss the types of forces and this is for class 8 the topic is types of forces students we have to discuss two types of force two types of forces that are contact and non-contact forces contact forces and non-contact forces as it is clear from name contact contact means when two bodies this type of force are applied between two bodies when both are in actual contact between them and non-contact force when there is not an actual contact between two objects or two bodies the types of contact forces are of a, contact forces are of two types number one is the force of, uh, applied by our muscle that is muscular forces muscular force and number two is friction muscular force this force is applied, muscular force is applied by our muscles. Suppose you are lifting a heavy bucket of water and you are, you are lifting that bucket with your hands. So the muscles of your hands is applying force to lift that heavy bucket. The force that is applied here is muscular force. And there is a contact between our muscles and our, our hand and the bucket of water. The force of friction, that is the force that is applied uh, between two surfaces, between two surfaces, and this is due to irregularities between the surface. Uh, irregularities means the roughness. The roughness of the surface leads to the surface of uh, the force that is called friction force, and this force is parallel to the surface. In friction force, it uh, it is a resistive force. Friction force is a resistive force. Resistive means to oppose, to oppose something. So what does friction oppose? Friction force opposes the relative motion of an object that is placed over another surface or another object. So it is a resistive force that is applied between two objects kept in contact between each other and the direction of friction force is parallel to the surface. The types of non-contact forces we have discussed that number one is gravitation, number two is magnetic and number three is electrostatic. These forces these forces uh, are applied between two objects that are not in actual contact with, between uh, actual that are not in actual contact. Gravitational forces that is a, it is a uh, universal force that is applied between two massive objects in the universe. Any two massive objects always attract each other with a force that is called a force of gravitation. And uh, the theory of gravitational was given by Sir Isaac Newton. He is also known as the father of physics. Uh, some examples of gravitational force are that suppose uh, uh, you see the movement of planets around the sun. How planets move around the sun? The movement is due to the movement is due to the gravitational force, the attraction of uh, attraction of planets towards the sun. The sun attracts the planets towards uh, itself. Uh, and in this manner, due to this attraction, there is a force applied. There is a force applied uh, on the planet by the sun, and this force leads to the change in the direction of the planet, and hence the planet moves around the circular path. Magnetic force. In class six, you have uh, read about magnetic force, magnetism. That it is applied. Uh, it is a force by which magnetic substances, namely iron. Cobalt, nickel, and steel are attracted towards a magnet. Also, this uh, force is uh, both attractive and repulsive in nature. When, uh, when, uh, 
when two magnets are kept in contact with each other and suppose the the light poles are facing each other means the north and north are facing each other and south and south are facing each other then there will be repulsion and uh, suppose two magnets are kept in contact uh, kept uh, in density of each other and uh, in such manner that uh, opposite poles are facing each other means uh, the north pole of one magnet is faced by the south pole of the another magnet then in this situation there will be a uh, attraction also all the other magnetic substances is always attracted by magnet electrostatic force it is a type of force that is applied by charges applied by charges a charged body is attracted uh, an uncharged body is attracted by a charged body and this type of force is applied by uh, applied and is called electrostatic force suppose uh, when you comb uh, you comb your hair with uh, your dry hair and uh, bring that comb near a pieces of paper as very small pieces of paper the small pieces of paper are attracted to the comb and this attraction is due to the uh, due to electrostatic force the pieces of paper are uncharged and the comb are charged by rubbing by rubbing by your hair that's all for today and uh, thank you and we will see you in next course